So today I'm going to be doing a review on Tommy Hilfiger Impact. This fragrance was released in 2020, so we don't have a brand new release as of this year here, but I want to say it did come out later towards the end of 2020, and it is one that is available on discounters. This bottle was sent out to me by beautyencounter.com. You've probably heard of them. You've probably shopped with them before. They carry a lot of designer and niche fragrances at discounted competitive prices. Like I mentioned, they do carry this one on their website along with quite a few other designer fragrances as well. So if you wanna grab any of them at a discount, including this one, the link will be down below to Beauty Encounter. It's a great company to work with, great people there to deal with, and they will get back to you quickly with any questions or concerns that you may have regarding your order or if you're interested in any products. Now, one of the things about Tommy Impact that has me so interested and that you probably noticed as well is that built into the cap, you have a travel atomizer. So there it is, pops right out of the cap and then you can actually pull the cap off and take the cap off the atomizer and you literally just have a glass sample, uh, kind of similar to what you would get uh, when you buy a sample of a fragrance online, although this one is a bit more, so you have more in the sample. So it's more of an appropriate travel size rather than just a trial size where you only get a couple of sprays out of it. And when you're done, you just put it back into the cap, you can put the cap on the bottle, and there it is, it's built in. I think that's clever, I think that's pretty cool, pretty awesome. A lot of people are gonna look at this and say it's a gimmick, and yeah, it does seem like a gimmick for sure. I'm not saying that every designer fragrance out there needs to implement this into their bottle presentation, but I would like to see some more companies pick up on this because it really is kind of a cool way to give you um, your full presentation, but also something to travel with as well. So I don't know, I thought that was really cool. It is kind of gimmicky for sure, but hey, you gotta admit, that is a nice selling point. So today I'm gonna be reviewing this one. I'm gonna tell you how it smells, how it performs when you can wear it, and ultimately, if I think this one is worth picking up. So let's go ahead and start with how this fragrance smells. When you first spray this one on, what you get right away in the opening is this nice juicy, effervescent, citrus opening. If you look on for Grantica, the note breakdown, uh, they're pretty vague with their note breakdown. They just give you citruses as one of the notes, and there are citruses here. Now, in specific, what I pick up on personally right off the opening is a nice juicy apple. The apple mixes with amber, that uh, is prominent right away, it gives it a little bit of a sweetness as well, and the apple gives it kind of a sweetness. Along with that apple, I get a little bit of a bergamot citrus touch, I get some grapefruit in there, so just kind of giving it a little bit of a tart freshness. Along with that fruity sweet apple, all of this mixes with amber and a little bit of musk to create something that's ever so slightly powdery, also a little bit sweet, and you get a little bit of a green facet out of this one as well. I will go ahead and read off the official note breakdown for you. We have citruses, woody notes, acagaya wood, amber, coca, and musk. So the acagala wood gives off a little bit of a spicy patchouli feel. Some of the green facets of this fragrance is coming from there, and you do get something reminiscent of a patchouli. Also, the coca gives off a bit of a green touch as well, and then you have that amber and that musk kind of combining right off the top in the opening with the citrus and with the fruits, uh, just to give it a little bit of a sweetness. And then, of course, you just have the standard woody notes in this one, giving it a nice masculine base. So really, when I was going into this one, I wasn't expecting all that much. One, and there's a few reasons. One, because it is a Tommy Hilfiger fragrance, and there's nothing wrong with the brand. I'm not saying that they produce a bunch of bad fragrances. However, I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it. The note breakdown also lended to that. It didn't look too complex, too crazy, which is fine. It doesn't need to be complex, but I really wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it. But when I first sprayed this one on, and I will revisit the opening here, as we talk about it, I was thoroughly impressed. I'm like, you know what, off the opening so far, this is nice. This really has this vibrance, this sweetness, almost a bit of a bubble gumminess. The opening kind of reminds me of that same type of feel I get from Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum. You get that apple, you get that sweetness, and you get the same type of feeling from here. You just have that creaminess in the back, you have that sweetness, but also that fresh forward type of smell about it, and it just kind of has a nice blend and that's just kind of you know something that I would draw a comparison to, not necessarily in terms of how it smells, but how it behaves, and just kind of you know the feeling that it gives off, kind of that fruity, sweet youthfulness up top. Over time, as it does dry down, the wood start to come through more. You get that patchouli feeling. You get those green facets about the fragrance. You get that musk. You get that amber. 
So it does have a little bit of a complexity to it, a little bit of a depth to it, and it makes it really kind of a nice balance for springtime and fall time. Longevity on my skin is right around that seven and a half to eight hour mark. That's pretty solid. That's about what I expect in a fragrance. You know, that's just right there at a sweet spot. It doesn't last too long, but it also doesn't last long enough. It's just right there. Get you through a day and you really don't have to think about it. It is a bit more of a soft projector. A lot of that is due to that it doesn't have an overload of sweetness and it also doesn't have an overload of freshness because you'll find that some fragrances that are just very, very sweet will project hard and far. You know, your Armani Co Profumos, your Versace Eros, those types of fragrances. And then there's also some citrus, really fresh fragrances that will pop off the skin when you first spray them on and also project pretty hard. This one, again, strikes a nice balance. You kind of meet a middle ground here with this one where it just has a nice mixture of both. And it's just also a bit more warm, powdery, and refined. It has a bit more of a gentleman's smell to it, especially as you get into the dry down ever so slightly. And it also performs more like a gentleman's fragrance. It's not too loud, it's not too obnoxious. It just has nice, even performance across the board. Uh, longevity is great. And again, that projection is on the softer side. So if you are someone who just craves super strong projecting fragrances, this one is not gonna do that for you. However, one thing you have to remember is that you can now carry around this little sample. So I don't wanna hear anyone complain about performance about Tommy Hilfiger Impact because you have this literally built in. You have no option. You can't get this without getting this. I mean, they literally don't give you an option. They're like, here, take that sample and keep it in your bottle because you're getting it. So you don't really have to worry about that with longevity. You know, the longevity is good. You won't really need to refresh for that factor of it, but on the projection side of things. A fragrance will always project the most when you first spray it on. That's just how it works. So maybe every couple hours, you can take the little sample size here with you and refresh yourself just to get that pop, get that citrus opening again, and really kind of get the projection flowing. That's an option that you have with this one. And again, this comes standard. Compliments on this one is also gonna be really good Really, it's a pleasant scent that is just hard to go wrong with. It's very versatile as well. Spring and fall are what's gonna be best for it, but if you wanted to wear it climate controlled in the summertime and wear it in the wintertime, it'll work for that as well. It really could be a good signature scent. If you need a nice, pleasant office fragrance, you wanna stand out and smell a little bit different, and you also want to get some positive feedback, Impact is gonna do that for you. So guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for me. That was my thoughts on Tommy Hilfiger Impact, I really like the scent. The scent surprised me on how good it is. It's really pretty pleasant. The quality's great, it's pretty smooth. It's not synthetic when you first spray it on. And it does have a bit of a unique twist about it. They're using some notes in here that you don't find used all that often and that's always pretty cool. And come on, you have to admit, the whole gimmicky sample size thing built into the cap is pretty cool and I do like that as well. I'm not sure this is something that I would use all that often, but it is a cool option. And remember, if you do wanna grab a bottle for yourself, I will leave a link down below to Beauty Encounter. Highly recommend shopping with them. Browse their fragrances. They have a whole bunch of stuff to choose from, from niche to designer, and they have some really good, unbeatable prices as well. That's gonna do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.